Now, how would you like to be able to test your crops for diseases right in the field or care for your chickens without actually being there? Yeah, believe it or not, it's technology that might not be as far off as you think. Damon Jones has the story. It's a peek into the future of agriculture here at the Georgia Tech Research Institute as engineers are looking for ways to best utilize technology such as robotic arms and unmanned vehicles on the farm. It's a program designed to make the farmer's life much easier in the upcoming years. What we do for the ag industry is really help them focus on long-term objectives. We're looking at research projects that are probably 5 to 10 to 15 years out and drive the technology and innovation associated with being able to improve efficiencies, improve food safety, look at really driving our environmental impacts, um, looking at all the different aspects of the different types of problems that the industry or the ag sector really faces on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the many projects being worked on is this low-power, low-cost gas chromatography system that can be used right in the field to detect diseases and pathogens. It's technology that could save the farmers not only money, but plenty of time as well. So our goal is to uh, make the miniaturized ver version of that instrument that is can be loaded on a tractor, goes down the farm and, and uh, collect the sample of VOCs that these plants release and analyze it and alert the farmers of potential spread of pathogens or uh, analyze the gases that they release and could be uh, stay on the farm for longer and you don't need to continuously provide power or send a, uh, collect the samples and send it back to the lab to be tested so you could do all the studies and anal uh, analysis of the soil and gases on the farm. While this might look like a souped up remote control car, it's actually designed to monitor the movements inside a chicken house and record the data. It's a way to constantly observe the birds without actually being inside the house. We believe that you could use a robot system to uh, augment and hopefully even replace or reduce the uh, uh, necessity of a farmer going into the houses so that uh, with a robot system in place, the farmer is uh, free to do other tasks that, uh, that the robot system could do for him. A big concern for farmers when it comes to the latest technology is, of course, the price point. That's why it's a major objective for these researchers to make equipment that is not only highly effective, but also affordable. Uh, there is a point where uh, stuff just simply becomes too expensive for you to even operate it in the environments and we've seen now with, uh, with the recent advent of technology and the release of things such as uh, Microsoft Connect Sensor, the cost of these systems is drastically dropping. It's not a small reduction, it's actually a, a huge reduction in cost. Despite all the complicated high-tech equipment surrounding them, the goal of the Research Institute is really quite simple. Our mission and vision is to be the technology innovation and development provider that allows Georgia to be the undisputed leader in poultry, agribusiness, and food processing. So we have a, a broad vision, but a very specific mission. Reporting from Georgia Tech, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.